Let's head back to Des Moines, Washington to the Chevelle and El Camino show. I've heard about Moses parting the sea, but I got to witness Dan Overmeyer come into the show today with this car rumbling through the gate, and he definitely parted the seas today. You had quite a, a crowd that was uh, in amazement of this car. Tell us a little bit about it. It's got a 496 Stroker 454 in it, 671 BDS blower, 170 shot, 5 shot of nitrous. Uh, it's got a 4L80E computerized tranny, 9-inch curry rear end. So what that means on your 70 Chevelle is, uh, to the people that don't know the numbers, this thing goes very fast. How did this come about? Was it uh, a wreck when you bought it, or did you build this yourself, or what, what was the situation? Actually, I bought it off of eBay a few years back and just kind of escalated into what it is now and uh, keep adding more stuff to it every weekend, it seems like. They're never done, right? They're never done. So your, your crystal ball, when it says this car is done, what else will be done to it? That's a good one. <laughs> I think uh, just the injection system from Garlitz will be the next thing on it. Mm -hmm. Cars like this that are driven on the street, but they are also driven on the track. I don't know that you do that on this particular car, but it certainly a appears that way. Do, do you ever take this to the Safeway store on a, on a Saturday afternoon, or what kind of reaction do you get with all that motor sticking out of it? It draws an attention wherever it goes. It's, uh, I drive it whenever it's not rainy like it has been today. And, and, uh, Muscle cars are vehicles that have been popular since the day they were new, but when you take a muscle car and then add even more muscle to it, uh, how, how much is needed? How much is enough on these things? And, and I, I, you know, the answer is probably there's never enough, but what, uh, what made you decide to go with such performance on this? Probably the tension getter of it and the, the adrenaline rush you get when you're cruising down the neighborhood and everybody pulls up beside you and is taking pictures of it. And, and the reaction of, uh, here at the Chevelle and El Camino show, we have a real cross-section of age. We have, you know, the, the old graybeard guys, but we have uh, some 16 to 18-year-olds. What kind of reaction do you get from, from that, the young contingent? But the young ones know more about it than I do, I think. They know about the nitro system, and uh, it really draws the younger kids more than it does people my age. Well, Dan, it drew us to the car, the, the red and the scoop and the noise. This is a pretty cool car. Thanks for being on the Vintage Vehicle Show. Thank you. We've had a great time here in Des Moines, Washington at yesterday's Chevelle and El Camino show. Great cars, great people. And hey, the weather cleared out. It's not so bad. So we hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you again next time. Until then, bye-bye.